Greetings Code Traders, it is Wednesday, August 8th, 2018. Just messed up the uh, last video I just did. I am in, also I messed up the trade too. Also, but I am back in short here and recording again. And um, I lost the first trade, came back and won another trade and, and uh, meant to stay in but got out. Also messed up the video and then I've redone it and I got back in again. So I'm back in again. The news came out earlier, and um, this thing is going to drop out. Let's go take a look at the daily. It's going to really go down here. I think it's going to drop below this low right here on the daily. It'll come all the way down. So and be like a bar like this. So I am going to go for a hundred ticks. I am going for a hundred ticks here, and. Um, It should be an easy and relatively easy and quick 100 ticks. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, it just uh, broke the bottom there. Let's see how much it wants to come down. Bouncing back up again. Anyway, I'll come back. It's going for the bottom again. There it goes. All right, see if it'll break down this time. got a long ways to go to hit my 100 tick exit but looking at it on the daily you can see that uh, it's not too far away from breaking this bottom and so it could even break this bottom down here we could get two bottoms broken there and make for a big day in which case I would hit my 100 tick exit so I've got a 100 tick exit out there down to 66.33 a long ways to go So anyway, I will come back. Looks like it's going to go for the bottom here. The bottom's at 67.10. It's acting like it's going to go for it here. 67.11. 67.09 is a break. Just looking for it to break here and make a good move down. <laughs> just hit 09 and bounce really up really good right there oh well no big deal it wants to take its time as it goes down because it's already gone down a long long way so it's going to kind of just maybe just sort of inchworm its way down till it finally breaks down here anyway just have to be patient i'll come back okay it's going for the bottom again 10 is the, or 9 is the bottom now 6709 looks like it wants to go I'm just looking to see how hard it wants to fall it may not do so now it's already fallen so much it's just going to be a slow downward trend continue down take a look at the 10 minute see like this nice slow stair step down it's gotten a little bigger there Anyway, still having trouble with the bottom down here. Here it goes. Alright. New bottom, but again, just slowly stair-stepping its way down. Using each 10 minute, 10 minute bar to make lower lows. And bounce back up. You know, see the line there, line there, line there, bouncing back up each time. And then continuing lower. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, the trade is uh, moving down quite a bit here. Yeah, but uh, just need to make it down to uh, 33, 63, 33 for 100 ticks. I think it is going to do it, or I think that the chances of it are very high. It is just in a free fall today, basically. One of one of these kinds of days is basically what it is and uh, not too hard to jump in and get him see but 
Okay, like, I didn't just tell you, but that was another code two short entry right there. See, the, the code gives you the flaw in the program, okay, gives you your tells on which direction it's going to go, and all of the codes are short today. So that's how you know it's just going to keep going down. Of course, today was the news, so let's just talk about uh, from the news point. Uh, the, from the news day entry, all the other codes have all been shorts, which is which represents three codes. So that's how I knew it was just going to continue to go down. That's how I know it's going to con continue to go down. Like this one here uh, that just happened is the last code of the day. So there are no more codes. It's just going to continue to go down and go hit the exit for 100 ticks, or it should. It it'll come at le at least it'll come really 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 close maybe not hit but it's probably gonna hit anyway I will come back and show it to you it's continuing to come down good here doesn't have too much further to go to the exit for uh, 100 ticks I probably could get more ticks than just the hundred but uh, if you take a look at this bottom down here right here it says that it's the low is at 29 and I'm actually at 33 so I'm gonna get out right below that low right there it may break below that low a bit and then come back up or it may break below and, and continue to go down a, a bit and, and stay down there it's hard to say it's hard to tell but the mathematics of where I am right now is pretty darn good so I'm just gonna take it the hundred ticks and go for the 100 ticks and take the 100 ticks. I try to push it too much. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, it's making a new bottom here. New bottom doesn't have too much further to slide down. 33 ticks or so. And it'll hit the exit. See, uh, you know, using the codes are not that difficult, and, you know, it's days like this make it really easy. You know, it's too bad that every day couldn't be this easy, and, you know, and, and they just can't. But it's, it's really how you handle the, the choppy days that really counts. You know, do you get wiped out on choppy days, or do you play very conservative with them, or... It just depends how you handle them. The the days like today are simple. I mean, like for instance, look where I shorted it. Shorted it way down there. Of course, I shorted it up earlier. Earlier. First, I went long on it and lost on it on the stop, and then I shorted it and made made, and then accidentally got out, and then got back in. Down here, right here, that was my third entry. Um, and then I just held it because the code said go short and then each code after that said go short so not too hard to to hold it if all the codes say go short right all you have to do is learn how to read the codes and um, and, and how hard is it to read the codes not hard not hard at all though what people struggle with mostly is the trading aspect of it you know, the, the uncertainty of what you should do and, you know, that it looks like it's going to do one thing and then it does another and you get faked out, that type of thing. Or, you know, you were way ahead and then all of a sudden now you're, you're, you're like, didn't make anything at all, only to be way ahead later or only to be, to lose once you were way ahead things like this they constantly push you and pull you and push you and pull you emotionally you know and this after over time it drives you nut can, it can drive you nuts if you don't learn how to control it how to deal with it and um, learn how to look at things mathematically when you start paying attention to the money then you are not paying attention to what you need to be paying attention to, which is the ticks. 
You're trying to make as many ticks as you can. Not as much money as you can. I mean, the two go hand in hand, obviously. But you don't focus on the money, you focus on the ticks. And of course, I learned this a long time ago. You know, so for me, it's like something really old. But for those people who are just new to trading, this is really something you have to learn how to deal with, how to master, basically. So basically, I just needed to break down one more time. And then you can go take a look at the one minute to zoom in and see what's happening here. It's just moving down. I just need to break down one more time below that bottom and keep going just a little bit and I'll get out. You can see there's the 10 minute. And there it's going. And see, you know, right now, you'd be, a lot of traders will be thinking, oh man, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. You know, you need to, you need to go for more. This is the problem. The one thing you need to learn about trading. <laughs> You know, there's a good place to get in, and there's a good place to get out. The place, the good place to get out is when everybody thinks is the good place to get in. And the good place to get in is when everybody, it, it, every, you're always doing the opposite of what everyone else thinks. Not always, not always. Today, you know, all the uh, shorters all won. You try to go wrong today, you got tore up pretty bad. And so, but if you went short and you held it for a nice trade, you, you made a nice trade today. I'm still waiting for mine. Just need a few more ticks. What did it, what did it make a low at? Let me take a look at the code here. Don't you dare start bouncing on me now. It could too. Taking a look at the code again. It really could be bouncing here. Went down to 39. That's six ticks away from my exit. It'll do stuff like that to you, but whatever you do, whatever you do, don't let it get to you. Don't just pretend like you're a robot. How can you feel emotions if you're a robot? No. So be a robot. Don't even let it get to you. Like it does not even bother you. Only thing you should think about is mathematically, logically, what should you have done? That's all. Try to learn from it learn something from it and say next time I see that I'm gonna be more careful you know or I'm gonna get out early and see what happens if it starts keeps going in the right direction I'll get back in I wouldn't play like that too much in the futures though within oil you get tore up like that you must know the code get in at the right time get at the right price get in get out the right price you know you need to know the code Anyway, I just need six more ticks below the current low, and I am out. Or I think it's got at least one more, one more left in it. But it might not, though. I do have a mathematical possibility of a bounce right here off of a Code 2 special. I'm going to have to maybe get out here. Can't really take this risk. It's due for a bounce. Okay, I'm jumping out right there. It's due for a bounce. There's a mathematical... I could actually go long right here. I could go long right here and risk it to see if it's going to bounce. If it, if it comes down and hits the... goes below the low again, I would get out and actually go back the other way and go short again. Anyway, I am all done for today. And I will be back tomorrow to do some more trading. I'm probably not going to be here on Friday again, but maybe I will. Just depends. Anyway, hope all of you traders are doing well. Hope you nailed the trade today. It was a pretty easy day today. Not too difficult. And um, hope you made a very good trade. You should have made a very good trade because you should have been in a lot. The price was a lot earlier. Uh, I'm not sure, but it was about 30 ticks up from where I took it, somewhere around there. So that's where you should have gotten in. So you actually should have made 100 ticks today on your entry. Anyway, I am going to get going. Hope all of you traders are doing well. Hope you hit the trade today. And I will see all of you code traders for tomorrow's code trading. Happy trading out there.